Let's go. And we will see. Hello, thank God it's Friday, and thank God your live boy today is here. Every day of the week, we are here together. And this Friday is a special one, it's mid month, the 15th day of September 2023. And your live boy today comes with a warning again. It says, Let anyone who thinks he stands take heed. That's our topic today. Our reading, as we have been reading virtually all through this week, perhaps except yesterday, which was Holy Cross Day. We have been reading from the book of prophet Ezekiel, and so today we'll be moving on to the 31st chapter, a very long reading that we have there. But if you are set, let's go now. In the 11th year, in the third month, on the first day of the month, the word of the Lord came to me, Son of man, say to Pharaoh king of Egypt and to his multitude, Whom are you like? In your greatness, behold, I will liken you to a cedar in Lebanon, with fair branches, forest shade, and of great height. Its top among the clouds, the waters nourished it, that it made it grow tall, making its rivers flow round the place of its planting, sending forth its streams to all the trees of the forest, so it towered high. Above all the trees of the forest, its bough grew large, and its branches long, from abundant water in its shoots. All the birds of the air made their nest in its boughs, under its branches. All the beasts of the field brought forth their young, and under its shadow dwelt all great nations. It was beautiful in its greatness, in the length of its branches, for its roots went down to abundant waters. The cedars in the garden of God could not rival it, nor the fir trees equal to its boughs. The plane trees were as nothing compared with its branches. No tree in the garden of God was like it in beauty. I made it beautiful in the mass of its branches, and all the trees of Eden envied it, that were in the garden of God. Therefore, says the Lord God, because it towered high and set its top amongst the clouds, and its heart was proud of its height, I will give it into the hand of a mighty one of the nations. He shall surely deal with it as its wickedness deserves, I have cast it out. Foreigners, the most terrible of the nations, will cut it down and leave it. On the mountains and in the valleys, its branches will fall, and its boughs will lie broken in the water courses of the land, and all the people of the earth will go from its shadow and leave it. Upon its ruin will dwell all the birds of the air, and upon its branches will be all the beasts of the field, all this in order that no trees by the waters may grow to lofty heights or set their tops among the clouds and that no trees shall drink water may reach up 
to them in height, for they are all given over to death, to neither world among mortal men with those who go down to the pit. Thus says the Lord God, when it goes down to Sheol, I will make the deep mourn for it, and restrain, restrain its rivers, and many waters shall be stopped. I will clothe Lebanon in gloom for it, and all the trees of the field shall faint because of it. I will make the nations quicker the sound of its fall. When I cast it down to Sheol with those who go down to the pit, and all the trees of Eden, Eden, the choice and the best of Lebanon, all that drink water will be comforted in the nether world. They also shall go down to Sheol with it. To those who are slain by the sword, yeah, those who dwelt under its shadows among the nations shall perish. Whom are you thus like in glory and in greatest greatness among the trees of Eden? You shall be brought down with the trees of Eden to the nether world, and you shall lie among the uncircumcised with those who are slain by the sword. This is Pharaoh and all his multitude, says the Lord God. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. In virtually all of the prophecies that God related or relayed to people through Ezekiel, it was about showing humility, acknowledging God, recognizing that no powers ever are without the authority and the backing of God, and that any power that would not do the will of God would eventually bow or be crushed. I'm really surprised that Egypt will come up again. Is it not the same Egypt that had seen the power of God in the times of the earlier pharaohs? And then Egypt will still come up again and not recognize that it was God that made it rise the first time and delivered the children of Egypt from it and essentially therefore had a fall. The same Egypt witnessed other empires, the Assyrian Empire as they came. There was a time it was the Philistines. And as at the time that Ezekiel was writing this, it was actually Babylon that was holding the entire world. It was not yet the time of the Romans and subsequently the time of Egypt again. Can you remember Alexander of Egypt? And all of these empires came and fell by the hand of God, by the power of God, because once they arose and never acknowledged God, naturally they would fall. That is what anybody should understand. So in which position do you think you are standing right now? Oh, I am the president of this association. I am the governor of this terrain. I am the general overseer, the superior superintendent, the arc of all archbishops that is in charge of all of whatever it is, whatever the organization, the church, a school, government, anywhere. You are there by the grace of God. And once you do not acknowledge that God, then you are not standing well. Let anyone who thinks he stands take heed and give all the glory to God. When you return all the glory to God, then you will stand secure. It could be a small office enough like that of the president of the students' union of a higher institution or a class captain or whatever it is and you are feeling so puffed up, I am sorry for you. So that when I speak like this, it do not seem, oh, he's always talking against politicians, so I'm leaving politicians out of this essentially today. Yes, you are a governor, you are the speaker of the parliament, you are the, and you are not standing firm in the word of God and doing the will of God to serve the people, I am sorry for you. Let anyone who thinks he stands take heed. And from today, yield to the word of God. Perhaps you are one of those people that you yield to the word of God today and give your life to Jesus so that you can stand secure 
in that great name, in that mighty one, that rock of ages, because it is his name that is a strong tower. And anyone that runs into it is delivered. Anyone that runs, it runs into it truly stands. Are you set for that standing right now in the rock of ages? Then come give your life. And how you go about it, just say this prayer. Say, Lord Jesus, I want to stand only in you, with you, and rely completely upon you. Forgive me of all the sins of the past. I've been a sinner all my life. Take me as one of yours from today. I accept you as Lord and Savior. I stand entirely in your word from today. Hold me, Lord. Strengthen me, Lord. I pray through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. If you just said that prayer, welcome to the fold of Christ. You need to find a Bible-believing church where you can truly stand and take heed. I always recommend that you join us in the Anglican Church or OKS Extension of Shogu. For now, we worship in the Chapel Hall of the Olive Branches, Midland High Schools, Oinkong and Gokyomi Bodden Drive, Rukiya said extension in Oshubo. Very soon, we will be going to our own permanent sites and then we will together be able to stand in the presence of the Lord and take heed thereupon. For now, you can join us every Tuesday for our midweek services, 5 o'clock in the late afternoon, where we still worship right now. But on Sundays, it's 9 o'clock in the morning. And as you join us in those services, I pray that the Lord will bless you in Jesus' name. Now look at the account details on the screen. We want to build our own permanent site. Drop something in the account, the bank account, and the Lord will bless you. That will be part of your standing in Him. Now as you go out today now, say this prayer. Say, Father, I pray that in your mercy you keep me from falling, that I will stand secure in you. I pray through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. So, as you go out today, remember, let anyone who thinks he stands take heed. Stand only on the rock of ages. That's when you are secure. God bless you. Thank you.